Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are staying warm. It's like the coldest winter on record here. That I don't know if that's a fact, but it feels like it. Um, I am going to do a video today about which classes you should take in college to help prepare you for medical school. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's jump in. So I wanna preface this by saying, and I've said this like many times throughout some previous videos, you do not have to be a science major to go to med school. I actually think it's better if you're not a science major, you A, get like a varied area of interest. You're gonna be learning science the rest of your life. You might as well like major in English or classics or something else. Um, and B, I really think it makes you more interesting when applying to medical schools. You know, like I would say a majority of people major in science. Um, I feel like half my class majored in neuroscience, which is what I majored in. Um, but it just sets you apart a little bit if you majored in something else and, and makes people look at your application a little bit longer. So that's my kind of preface. Um, in terms of specific classes, you know, there are required pre-med classes that you can take no matter your major. So like biology, chemistry, organic chemistry, I think um, some type of math is required, um, physics, I don't know if biochem is required, but there's like a list of required classes that you should take. Not talking about those, there are classes that you need that are like re the required pre-med classes. I'm kind of talking about extra classes on top of that that I think may be useful. The first is statistics. This is huge. You learn some amount of statistics in some of your other classes. I learned it for like bio in lab, um, you know, how to interpret like chi-squared tests, t-tests, stuff like that. None of it has stuck with me. I have to look it up every time. It's always my worst thing studying when I'm studying for like in-service or board exams. I hate those portions of it. I think that statistics and just learning how to run stats is so useful um, in med school, in residency. Um, you'll carry those skills with you for the rest of your medical career. I really wish I had learned how to do it. Even if you don't get like a full understanding, you at least get the basic lingo down and don't have to learn it on your own for your future career. Next is anatomy. Um, if you have the opportunity to take anatomy in college, I actually think it's one of the, you know, I said like branch out, you'll be learning this for the rest of your life. But anatomy is one of those things that I think repetition is really good in remembering it. And if you have a little bit of exposure to anatomy before going into med school, it'll set you like, I think really far ahead. Um, and you'll just be able to understand pathophysiology better, um, you know, obviously you need all of that an, an anatomy knowledge for surgery and, and basically for everything. And you learn it once, you kind of forget it. I always have to refresh my memory on anatomy. Um, so I think it's really useful to have it at least one go round in college. Next is some sort of research elective. Um, my in my college, it was required for my major. So for my neuroscience major, I had to do research, which was I was so thankful for. A, it just dipped my toe in like understanding what research was and, and scientific research and writing a paper and, and doing all of that, um, which was really helpful. It was amazing to put on my resume that I had experience in that. And you may get published and that's huge. That's huge. Even to just get your name on something is huge in college. So I would really recommend if, even if you don't have a class, like trying to get some sort of research in, it's super helpful. I know I mentioned biochem, I think earlier as a maybe required pre-med class, but now that I'm thinking about it, I actually don't think it is required. And biochem is something I actually would recommend adding on top of some of these other science classes. A, it's on the MCAT and it's a lot easier to study it in a class with that structured environment than by yourself uh, when you're just studying for the MCAT and are so overwhelmed by everything. Um, and you do learn it in medical school and it's hard, it's hard in medical school. And I just think again, like having that exposure to it and having a basic understanding helps a lot when you have to do it in even more condensed fashion in school. Um, and it kind of helps like, with an understanding of everything else that's going on, like drugs and everything like that, you get a better understanding if you have some background in biochem. 
Kind of hearkening back to the research elective, but I would highly recommend taking some sort of like science writing course. Like if there's some sort of class that teaches you, I don't know exactly what it's called, but teaches you how to write scientific papers and read scientific papers. This is one of the hardest things to learn even now, like as a resident, like sometimes these papers, I just am wading through them and I, it's hard for me to tell like what's important. It's hard for me to analyze them. Um, and you have to do it so much in med school and in residency. And I think that learning how to get those foundations early are really important. And if you can take a structured class around it, that would be so helpful instead of wading through it on your own. Also kind of hearkening back to anatomy, um, I think, you know, again, I don't want to focus too much on the sciences because you're going to do a lot of science in your life, but a human physiology class or some type of physiology class, just kind of generally learning how the human body works. Obviously in med school, it's going to go way more in depth, but again, I know I sound like a broken record, but getting those basics down, I feel like would be so helpful for medical school and really put you ahead. I know some people do like a year of masters after college and they do these classes and I all, I had a couple friends do it and they knew everything and I was so impressed by them. Um, and I really think that it helped med school will be a lot less stressful for them. Okay, we're moving away from sciences. Non-science classes that I think you should take in college to prepare for med school. One, some sort of finance class. Doctors are notoriously the worst with money. We have no formal training in how to use it. We don't make any money until we're like in our 30s. Um, I have no idea how to pay taxes. Like I feel like I'm an idiot when it comes to money. I have no idea how my like retirement plan works. I like give everything to my boyfriend. I'm like, here, please tell me what I need to do. I just feel like to be functioning adults, we don't get that real world experience because we're in school for so long when maybe some of our peers are like learning how to handle money. So I think some sort of finance class that teaches you just kind of the basics of like interest and like what an IRA is, I don't know, um, would be really helpful. I really wish I had done that, even to just know like the terms so I can do research on it. Like I have to start at such a baby level and then I get frustrated and then I don't do it. So some sort of finance class, it'll serve you so well down the line. I also think a writing class is very important, not necessarily scientific writing, but like essay writing. You have to write a lot of essays applying to medical school, applying to residency. You have to write personal statements. You have to write emails all the time and letters and and just there's a lot of writing involved in medicine. Notes like th there's just a lot of writing involved in medicine that you don't necessarily think about. And while a lot of that doesn't have to be like your notes don't have to be like beautifully written, um, it just is helpful to kind of keep those skills kind of fresh when you're thinking about writing these personal statements and essays for applying to medical school and applying to residency because as someone after doing four years of med medical school or four years of college just in the sciences and then you have to write all these essays you're like oh I haven't done this in a while like things can sound sort of stilted and I think it's nice to just keep that skill fresh and I always think you know you have to write throughout your life no matter your job and I think it's nice to just get a bit of formal education in that realm. Finally, this is very broad, but humanities in general, I kind of touched upon this early on in the video, but I really think it's important to be well-rounded in college. This is your time to learn about things that you'll never have the time to learn about in the rest of your life. Like it's very hard to just take a class on like Spanish or something um, when you're in residency and when you're in med school. And even I think later in life, like when you're a practicing doctor. So you got to get all that stuff that you want to learn about in early. So take the classes that you want to take, take the humanities that you want to take and have fun and learn the stuff that you will reference back to throughout your career. I was a minor in classics and I talk about it all the time with different doctors, like use anecdotes. I enjoy thinking about it. I enjoy reading about it. Um, and I just think it's nice to be a well-rounded person. So yeah, that's kind of my spiel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other suggestions for classes to take, please leave them below. I think a lot of people would like to hear it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.